My music is the fusion of information architecture and classical music. The way that you problem solve in, tech, in the world of technology and the way that you problem solve when you're an information architect really lends itself to problem solving with the kind of music that I do. I attack those pieces the same way that I might attack like a project plan. Um, sort of, you know, going from making a little prototype, <laughs> like I make little song prototypes where I test an idea and then I, you know, build more functionality into it until eventually I have an entire piece of music and then um, I have to try to do everything I can to make it function and make it scalable so that I can bring it on tour. <laughs> When I construct a piece, it's made up of these like little small building blocks and you have to organize them into a piece of music, like a piece of information with metadata. The same thing is true for like a musical phrase. I really like to be able to pick out every single little sound and you can say, oh yeah, that's a pluck, or oh, that's a tap, or that's a harmonic. And it's really neat when you build up all these little small things that you can make something that is like otherworldly. The current setup I have right now is um, I have uh, just a MacBook Pro um, and all of my looping software is run on the computer using Ableton Live and Super Looper and um, some little what I call MIDI duct tape to hold it together which is just some nasty um, Apple scripts that allow me to control the whole thing with my feet. One of my goals is um, to never touch the computer with my hands, and I don't want the computer to be a part of the performance. It's just a pencil. I don't actually write any music down. I started out trying to write it for 16 cellists, and I had some fantasy that um, I was gonna get 16 cellists, and they were gonna come over to the warehouse, and we were all going to um, just play this music. It didn't quite go as planned. <laughs> Everything I do is, um, based on like the limitations of technology. I would say recently I can do a lot and I'm sort of dealing with the repercussions of what it means to be able to do almost anything, which is um, a new problem for me.